I hate this school, only because everyone hates me. They think that I don't see their stares or hear the whispers of poor kid, janitor's son. But because I am the janitor's son, I got the key to my room, my hideaway. Stay there, idiot! Thomas, get that back! That was my grandfather's! So Thomas, give that back, please. I can help you now. Thomas, let me out. Help me, please. No. Thomas, please. Sal, see you. I'm not going to go let James out. So you better go tell Miss Woods where you are. She's worried about you. No, Thomas, give me the key. Maybe you sh I should put you in there, too. Really? What did he ever do to you? Oh my gosh, Thomas, James is still in there. I can't believe that Mr. Parkinson is making us stay for school, and only because we talked and didn't get our work done. We only talked because it's a great project and we have to figure out what we're doing. Dude, I heard that Mr. Parkinson only gives good grades to his favorites. Really? Yeah. Charlie? Wait, Charlie? Yeah? Uh, don't tell me you actually believe that immature idiot. No. You so do. No, I'll see you in the next class. Bye! Uh, I don't see that coming. Blake believes everything. She totally has to learn the difference between the truth and a lie. <laughs> see you later. Peterson. Present. Charlie Randall. Present. Blake Roberts. Absent. Blake! Referral. I got one. Don't you sass me, Blake. Olivia Tyler. Present. Clara West. Oh, oh, present. Since you didn't have enough time to finish your projects in class, the next hour will be fully dedicated to finishing them. If you finish early, you can stay and work on something else. You can go call your parents to come pick you up. Or you can go down to the library to study. Yes, Megan? Since I already finished my project, can I go to my locker and call my dad? Sure. Class, please let Megan be an example of how to get your work done in a timely fashion. What a show off. It's nice. It might not be, but it's true. Olivia, what is so funny? Nothing. I'll go check, but it's probably just some kids trying to get some laughs. Hey, Mr. Parkinson, they're going to need you down in the office for a parent complaint. I can take over your class while you're down there. I need to tell you something. It can wait. We have to finish our project. No, we can't! Olivia, obviously Clara has something to say. Clara, what is it? <sighs> okay, this might sound crazy, but in my locker, the word present just appeared right in front of me. <sighs> what kind of handwriting is it in? Blake! Clara, are you feeling okay? I'm fine! So, it just appeared out of nowhere? <laughs> yes! Show me. Okay, 
Guys, just raise your hand and pretend you have to go outside. Now, won't the new teacher pick up on? Doubtful. After school, <laughs> teachers get even stupider. Yes? Can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I need to get some water. Yeah, that's fine too. Let's see. You to too? Yes. Okay. Yo, hurry back. Now, may I see this spooky locker of yours? Just promise you won't freak out. I promise. But I doubt I will anyway. Look. Where are those, uh... Nothing there. Um, yes there is. There's present right there. And that tally wasn't there before. Are you hallucinating? Stop! Don't you see it? Why don't you see it? Let's go call your parents. Stop! It's right there. It says present. And there's a tally. And I swear that tally wasn't there before. It doesn't make any sense. You're burning up! Stop! This doesn't make any sense. It's right there. Why can't you see it? Look, look, just get closer. Don't you see it? It's right there. There's nothing there. I, I swear, them. present is right there. Does this make any sense? Hey, when I three of you guys you know, left, where's that other girl? Oh, uh, uh, she didn't feel well, so she uh, called her parents. Yeah, she was like throwing up in the bathroom. Yeah, it was really gross. I went in there with her, and it went everywhere. Well, maybe I'll get Miss Hannah across the hallway to go check on her. No! Um, I mean, <clears throat> I mean she, she's fine. Yeah, she already, she already called her parents in the hallway. Okay, all right. Sounds good to me. Mr. Whitaker. Yeah, buddy, what's up? Can I get some water? Um, yeah, that's fine. Hey, if you see that other girl when you're out there, just tell her I want to see her before she leaves. Just make sure she's okay. Oh, I thought you were sick. Uh, I am. Oh. I was well, in the bathroom. Well, if you're sick, then, you know, could you not be in the room? The other people, I don't want to get them sick. Yes? Uh, could we help Olivia to the office? She is sick. She's going to need help. Plus, she's been sitting with us all day, so we could be getting sick, too. I mean, okay. That's fine. Go. Come on, we need to go. We need to show you something. I didn't put it what in there. It? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Why is it burnt? I, I think we should talk about this in the hallway. Then we should go to the storage room. All right, let's go to the storage room. Let's yeah. go, so, come on. This doesn't make any sense. Where? First the word present, and now it's burnt all watch? Where did it come from? I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. What was that? I don't know. Come we on. better go check her. Go. Oh my gosh. It's, it's Timothy. He just went into my locker. There's another Italian. Blake, is that you? Megan? Who is that behind you? It's Mikey and Timothy. We all came just the same. First me, then Timothy, and then Mikey. Did you go into the locker? Yeah. Did you? We all did. I said no talking! Who are you? I am someone who was hurt by Minnie, and now I'm about to do the hurting. What's your name? My name is James Sanderson. You look a lot like your grandfather. Did they ever tell you about the time a school burned down? Did they ever tell you about the boy who went missing from his class? Well, that boy didn't go missing. He burned down with the school. And I am that boy. I was that boy. And now I'm back for revenge.
Where are my keys? <laughs> team one, Delaney, take two. Oh my gosh, Thomas. James is still in there. Ruben, you're not traumatic. You're just like <laughs> stolid. Got what? You? Me saying I look spicy! I got it that time. Oh, damn. Okay, guys, just raise your hand and pretend you have to go outside. No. Won't the new teacher pick up on that? Just raise your hand. Doubtful. After school, it gets even stupider. We need to read. Yes. Can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, you know, since it's after school, why don't you take your friends with you too? Because so you'll be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling. Three, two. Nope, Mary, you slated. You. Or if you have a chance. For, uh, if, if that's so I got no. I got Cammy's duty. Um, I can try to come down here. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh my Guys. gosh. I mean, places. Oh. Okay. Here, Jenna, do that again. Two D. For what? Buzz, <laughs> dude, it's rolling. <laughs> what? Virginia, can you hear this? Oh, I can hear it too. That's so cool. Hello. Uh, I'm gonna add another. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Blake's gonna be right here. This yellow so and blue make green. Yellow and blue make no. green. So, Mikey, you can. Did you know that green and blue make green? <laughs> okay, so Blake and James are. No, it green. makes blue green. Yes. Huh? Rolling. Three, two, one, action. Present. Scene three C. Take one B. Turn this thing off. Bloopers! Boop. Hello, cast and crew present. I would just like to thank you for all of the hard work and dedication that you have given to this movie, and despite our many setbacks, we came up with a great end product. Woo! Mary. <laughs>